Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry this video is a little bit late again. Um, unfortunately, I had some issues with uh, my microphone and my t like just a bunch of different like software stuff. So I think it's finally working now. So um, yeah, today we have Andor episode 10 and I'm really, really excited um, because uh, I mean, it's we're planning a prison break from a prison that nobody can really actually escape from. So it's going to be very interesting. Obviously, we know that Cassian, you know, will eventually escape. However he does that, I have no idea. But I'm just worried about Andy Serkis's character because I love him and I want him to survive and be happy and live a good life um, like he deserves. So I'm a little bit nervous. The intensity just keeps ramping up every, like, every week. I'm constantly on edge. Um, so let's get into it and see how this goes. Oh, wow, they're really just bringing the dead body in through everyone? I mean, I get if they have to move it to places, but man. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. He's stuck with that, clearly. Holy fuck, that's a line. I hope you're all doing this too. Oh. God, his facial reactions are so good. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, that was really close. We're going to die here. No, you're not. Or in the next place. There is only then and now. There is only one way out. Hell yeah. I'm already dead. No. Take it from there. No, you're not going to die. Oh, this is so exciting, but so nerve-wracking. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Day four. Our choices for change are limited. Her, her jacket looks a little bit like Jedi robes. I like the new. Indulgence is a great He just looks like Newt's commander. <laughs> You've made your point. I've met your husband several times. <laughs> Unlucky for you. <laughs> Two young people, attractive and privileged Shandrillan citizens. I would not want my daughter marrying his son. I'm sure his son might be fine, but brought up by him, probably not. Your only offer? I'm afraid so. Tea will see you out. Of course. I wonder who his son is. I don't know if it's going to be anyone important, but... It's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. She obviously is not going to want her daughter to be unhappy like she is. That's the first untrue thing you've said. Oh, I love how, like, into this he's gotten now. This is great. Oh, up the sleeve. Sneaky beaky. Oh, I'm so fucking scared. I'm so scared. Because something is gonna go wrong. This poor dude has no idea what's about to go down. Oh, no. Why does this guy feel like... Oh, I feel like this guy's gonna fuck it up. Stop panicking. Come on, Cassian. Come on, Cassian. Oh, the music has just got so much more intense. Oh. They're gonna be like, why the fuck is this dude soaking wet? <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god. I'm so scared. I'm so fucking scared. Okay, distraction. Distraction. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Oh! Fuck! Let's go! Nice! Not nice! Oh! Fuck! Dude, oh no, so many people are gonna die. Oh my god, this is chaos. Fuck yeah. Let's go! Let's fucking go! We have a situation on five, two, <laughs> the way Cassie is just hanging in there. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, nice! Nice! Where are they supposed to go after this, though? That's the thing, like... Oh my god. No mercy. No mercy! Oh my god. 
Oh, so many weapons. Holy shit. Oh. Let's go, friends. Let's escape together. Let's go. Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is wild. Oh my god. The epicenter five two. Too late. Oh shit. There's nobody there. You shouldn't be here. Okay, that's what you're gonna say. On program. Now. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Oh, they're such a good team up. I love it. Neither of them show any mercy, and it's great. As they, I mean, as they shouldn't, but. What's on your mind? Don't give up now. Don't give up hope now. Come on, kiddo. Come on, Center. Oh, this is. I have so many goosebumps. This is incredible. <laughs> Control of the facility. All the floors are cold. Wherever you are, right now, get up. Take charge and start climbing. They don't. Dude, this is making me gonna oh gonna make me cry. But if we wait until they figure that out, we'll never have a better chance than this. Rather die try to take them down than <laughs> giving them up to some other prison to go and die. That ends today. There is one way out <gasps> right now to run. Uh, Dude, I'm fucking I'm literally speechless. This place behind us. God, he's becoming one of my favorite characters ever. He's so fucking good. This is absolutely phenomenal. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, they're shitting themselves. They're literally shitting themselves. They, they, as they said, they know there's no way of stopping them. Oh my god, they're, they're just going. They're just fucking going for it. What if you can't swim? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> You're not just gonna stay here. They fucking did it! <laughs> they fucking did it! Kino, you better fucking learn to swim very fucking quickly. Because you're not staying there. You're not drowning, I swear to God. I think that's the most intense and phenomenal scene I've ever witnessed. That was fucking insane. He had that shit on point. It was so good. It was... Oh! My God! I'm never getting over that. I want to rewatch that 10 million times. We'll have privacy. Of all. Holy shit, this was not expected. Like she's calling Axis. A thief and the middleman. Uh, well, you're talking to him right now. She's gathering interest. The part of kind of like... they got lucky. We this dude has such pretty eyes. Holy shit. He seems to be very intrigued in this dude. Hello. Is there some kind of connection here that I... Tell me why we're really here today, Lonnie. Love. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless face. And what do I sacrifice? Everything. Everything! Yep. You'll stay with me, Lonnie. I can get. Oh, this is fucking beautiful. The music is incredible. Oh, I'm. Oh my god, no! Don't be over! That's. Uh, fuck! Okay, but like, can we just. Hello, camera. Can we just talk about how Andy Circus has literally one of the best performances in the entirety of Star Wars? His speech, his acting, his facial expressions, his emotions, his movement, every fucking single thing that he did was absolutely phenomenal and I'm never getting over it. This is why he's always going to be one of my favourite actors and this is why I was so happy that he finally got a role that's not CGI. 
a role that's just him being him and being the most incredible fucking actor that he is. I'm so fucking happy. And now I'm absolutely terrified because he's all like, I can't swim, which would be me. I'd be in the exact same situation. What has he done? Did someone help him? Did he stay? Did he go? And did he just suddenly learn to swim? What I'm going to be so stressed until I find out because I cannot let his character go. They, there's no way that they can bring in such an incredible performance and just drop it like that. There's no way. He he, he can't die. He can't. He can't. I won't, I'm not going to allow it. Like, I will literally go to Lucasfilm Studios right now and I will fucking, I will change everything. I'll change. I'll just, re, I'll just, you know, get rid of it. It's gone. His death is gone. Not happening. Um, Him and, uh, like, Kino and Cassian are two of the coolest fucking characters in Star Wars. I had never been a huge fan of Cassian. Like, I'd never really got, like, any kind of connection to him from Rogue One. But through this, holy fucking shit, he's incredible. He is absolutely insane. And I'm just... I'm so stunned. I'm actually so stunned. Like, there's not much else I can say about the rest of the episode because I'm just mind blown and speechless. That that speech that, that Kino gave was just unbelievable. Um... And those words are going to play in my mind for a very long fucking time. Holy shit. Oh. I wasn't expecting uh, Lonnie to be a double a double agent dude. I wasn't expecting that. That came out of nowhere. Um, man's a fucking rebel spy. Um, and now he has a daughter. It felt like there was some connection between them. Like something maybe like... I don't really know specifically. Like it felt like maybe there was something between them. But then, you know, he's got a wife and a daughter. And maybe just... It's just a cover up. I don't fucking know, but either way, he's been doing a good job. And now Luthen's just like, you want to, you want to go? No, tough, sorry. Um, so I don't really know where that situation's gonna lead. Um, but hopefully he's they both stay fine as well. Um, <laughs> I we got we didn't see anything of Bix, so I'm still hoping that she's okay. Um, and. Yeah, the, the that the, there's nothing else that I can say about this episode because again I'm fucking speechless and I just need to rewatch that a million times. Um, and the music in this episode was some of the greatest music I've ever heard in, in Star Wars. Um, it has so much intensity levels. This is what we fucking needed, and it's so beautiful. And I again still to this day cannot understand how people can shit talk this. After that episode, you're gonna say that this show isn't good. How can you even? That was the one of the oh, this just this, this entire show has been so fucking good. Ah, I just ugh. anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I don't know what else to fucking say at this point, but. It's been absolutely awesome. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. We have two episodes left to go for this season. And I don't want it to end. I'm not ready. But it's been nice having a long season and not just like six episodes of something. It's been really, really nice. I feel like we've been treated very well. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Star Wars. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week for episode 11, almost the end. Um, so yeah, peace out and may the force be with you.